Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys, and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the ball toss. And I want to talk to you about what happens when you make a bad ball toss. We've all done this. Everybody watching this video will make the service and then hit the serve and say, oh, no, it was a terrible ball toss. But when you look at the pros on TV, they recognize the ball toss better than you do. You hardly ever see them hit a bad ball toss. But do you always stop when you make a bad ball toss? Or do you sometimes hit the ball and then afterwards you say to yourself, oh, no, this was a terrible ball toss. How do you recognize fast enough that you've made the bad ball toss? How do you recognize quickly enough, early enough, that you've made the bad ball toss to actually abort the serve and start the motion again? It's one of the few sports in the world where you're allowed to do this, but you can't take advantage of this possibility if you don't recognize the bad ball toss until after you've actually hit the ball. But a great way of achieving the ability to recognize the ball toss early enough is to use a racket with no strings and actually make the stroke, actually talking your way through whether it's a good toss or a bad toss. Let me show you what I mean. So now I have a racket without strings. And now if I make my service action, I'm actually going to call out whether it's a good ball toss or a bad ball toss before I swing at the ball. So I throw the ball up and that's a good toss. But no, it's not. It's behind me. So I thought it was a good toss, but it was a bad toss. So now this time, and now I didn't call out early enough because I was concentrating on the serve. So I wasn't aware in time. And now once again, and this is a good toss, but I didn't call out in time because I didn't recognize early enough. So now, good. And this was a good toss. And again, good. And this was a good ball toss. By using a racket with no strings, you can actually make the whole service action, not just the traditional way of practicing the ball toss and seeing where it lands on the court. That's a totally false situation. But by using a racket with no strings, you can make the whole service action and you can then learn and practice to recognize the good or the bad ball toss way, way earlier in the serve. And then you can either stop or carry on depending on whether you're happy with the quality of the toss. This is a great way of adding consistency, power and accuracy to your serve without changing the stroke. It's easy to do, it doesn't take much practice and it really works. Let's check out our books on Amazon. We have books on every part of the game and we break the strokes into the biomechanics and science and then we provide very simple, precise solutions for all kinds of problems in all different techniques. But they have great illustrations and they're really easy to follow. Or for more personalized advice, check out what I'm doing with online coaching. I'm helping players in over 30 countries all over the world with a unique blend of video analysis and one-to-one -one training. For more information on this, email me or check out the website. So make bad ball tosses a thing of the past in your service. Learn how to recognize the ball toss, the good toss and the bad toss early and only hit the good ones and you'll have a better serve without changing anything else in the stroke. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.